What happens when doctors put radioactive material in your body? Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Well, you probably won't turn into Spider-Man, but it just may treat cancer. On your side, Julia Dreyer takes a look tonight at how nuclear medicine is revolutionizing cancer care right here on the First Coast. I can't believe I was ever five. You could say Mary Gusky has a lot to live for. The youngest wasn't born yet. Five kids, nine grandchildren. Identical twin boy great-grandsons. And four great-grandchildren. And my girls. She's also an administrator for a free health care clinic in DeLand, where she lives. Quite frankly, she doesn't have time for cancer. I was losing weight, and I was losing weight at, a, at an enormous rate. And I was going from doctor to doctor, and nobody really had an answer. Gusky finally got her answer at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, where she was diagnosed about 12 years ago with a pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor, cancer. You know, it's the kind of thing that happens to other people. It doesn't happen to you. Gusky underwent surgery, but the cancer came back in an inoperable form about five years later. Good morning, Miss Gusky. Gusky became one of the first people to undergo peptide receptor radionuclide therapy, or PRRT, for her cancer. Mayo Clinic is one of the few centers in the country and the only in Northeast Florida to offer PRRT. The actual treatment is only a 30-minute infusion given four times over a period of eight months. Dr. Pashtun Kazi, assistant professor of medicine and oncology at Mayo Clinic, says PRRT combines a radioactive substance with a drug that targets cancer cells. It then can deliver literally the drug through the IV infusion, the drug finds its way to the target and then delivers the radiation inside. While Kasi stops short of using the word cure, he says the treatment controls the tumor, minimizing or stopping growth, as was the case with Gusky. That means more time for Gusky, who just turned 80 and is looking forward to many more years. Juliet Dreyer, First Coast News on your side.